All right, guys, welcome. This is going to be a, well, kind of a screen recording, but uh, I wanted to go over healthy. Healthy is a, um, it's, it's an electronic health record. It's mostly used for health coaches, but I would also say it's, it's probably going to be a good fit for a lot of um, private practice doctors who got mm, what I call now micro practices or these kind of niche practices where either you're not going to be prescribing a ton of medications or you can call the medications in or you can use like a, a iPrescribe or RxNet to, to send those prescriptions. So I literally just signed up and I wanted to take you through it because I think how easy it is to onboard into one of these electronic health records is a great sign of how good these things are. So I put in my username, I put in my password, weekly live classes, discover healthy with confidence, join our live sessions to set up your account. Great, watch the demo, save my spot. All right, well, that's doing its thing. Let's go over here. So kind of the first thing that I notice is like this very outdated uh, design, like this very, very, mm, I would say simple tacky uh, search box, which is not a big deal. I actually believe that for most of us who are in these small practices and we don't want to spend a lot of money, we should go backwards. We should forego all of the beauty of like Duolingo and really focus on the things that work. So right up here to the left, it uh, looks like I can close that down. I can open it back up. I can go to home. It says, good evening, Mohammed. No healthy appointment. So obviously there is a calendar function here, which is incredibly important. By the way, this is a HIPAA compliant site. Um, here's a chat feature uh, and it looks like that's probably I can chat with a patient because they're scheduled here. It shows unread messages. That's really cool. Um, and it, this is an example client that they already have set up, which is great. Um, hello, example. How are you? And I can send that here. I suspect that it's going to ask me for permission. Hello, example. So this didn't disappear when I sent it. Okay, but it looks like I'm recording something, huh? I right, let's send it. And send. All right, but this didn't disappear, which is not a big deal, kind of. Oh yeah, I hear it. I hear it through my speakers. Okay, good. This is pretty good. I don't have a video function here, which is fine, but I can insert a video. So I don't have a live video function like I would have with WhatsApp. Over here, it looks like I can enter maybe some goals. Oh, it's pretty cool. Okay, because it is kind of for health coach. It's like for health coaches, right? So download your meal prep, get the ebook, uh, those kind of things, and I can check it off if it's done. Okay, and then here are some forms charting intake so here might be an intake form which doesn't populate but i'm sure i can add that in this is the view the client's full profile that's pretty cool phone number height weight um any fitbit sync that I'm, maybe that's available initial consult tasks programs recent labs book an appointment that's pretty good all right so far so good i gotta say i don't know what this is oh your trial has been started. I got a 14 day trial. Here's the chat. Wait, do we do that already? I think so. Here's the programs. So I can create a program. Select the cover. Uh, 10 weeks. Ignore that. <laughs> okay. So let me turn off. Do not disturb. And then I can add a, oh, that's pretty good. So I can, I can add something in here directly from YouTube. That's pretty neat. Can I charge money for it? Rolling, fix start. Yeah, it looks like I can probably charge money for that, which is pretty neat, I gotta say. All right, let's go to organization. So that's gonna be a little bit about me probably. How do we end up on calendar organization? Yeah, maybe that's what it is. It's my calendar. Uh, locations, columns, so let's say I book something, invitee, appointment type, video call, healthy video call, so it looks like they allow video call, and I can check, set my time zone, I'm obviously in Italy these days, uh, at least for the next few months, and I can do a group session, it's 
pretty neat. So far, so good. And then uh, real quick, these were, yeah, that's the sample clients. I can add clients. It looks like I should be able to import. Yeah, that's gonna, that's pretty good. That's pretty important. I can do tags, which I really like. Um, and then this is the calendar, which is kind of similar to that last page that we were at. And it looks like it can sync with Google Calendar, which is <laughs> huge. It's pretty good, guys. So far, so good. Um, sorry, documents. Upload a document, new folder, send a fax, okay? Um, so this is probably a document like a scanned lab report or an MRI report that you want to upload. Um, here are some forms that you want the patient to fill out. Welcome to forms. One of the powerful tool allows you to streamline your practice paper. So this is like, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's got a little funky over there, but can I get out of it? I'm getting started. Next tab. Okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I just wanted to get out of it. Okay. Your forms. I got a HIPAA agreement, so that's pretty big. Um, those of you who follow me know that if um, you're part of my physician group, uh, the WhatsApp group, uh, we have a bunch of forms to download. So forms galore, but yeah, this is a pretty standard HIPAA compliant form. I always recommend getting this reviewed by your attorney, right? Just understand how it should be for your practice. And especially if you are a cash-based practice and you don't take insurance, HIPAA is useless for you, right? You need a protected health information form. I'm not saying it can't be called HIPAA, but you don't need HIPAA, right? Uh, HIPAA is, uh, it relates to insurance companies. Um, but anyway, you can add Answers here, um, I think, I don't know, is that a new form? Quick bank? Oh, you can add stuff to it, got it. And you set that up. Okay, that's pretty cool. Can I go back? Doesn't look like it. Let's go back to forms. Here's an intake form, charting, referral. That's pretty good, these guys are smart. Yeah, this is one of the biggest anxiety uh, points for a lot of physicians and clinicians, so this is really good. Um, and then you got billing. So I should know what CMS 1500 is, but I'm guessing Medicare? I don't take Medicare. I have no idea. Um, billing, that's a super bill. So the super bill is what you would create based on the visit that you had with the patient, and they can take that to their insurance to get it, um, uh, to get it reimbursed. And I'm guessing CMS is the same thing for Medicare? I don't know. I don't need to know. I, I only take cash. Add, oh, here we go. Add verification details. You opted not to collect payment through Stripe. Okay, well, there you're obviously using Stripe. Uh, Stripe is probably the most popular HIPAA compliant uh, payment system out there, but there are many other ones. Um, so it's easy to set up an account with Stripe. And then the last one here, client packages. Okay, so that's, I think, if you create a package that they can purchase, so that would be like a monthly package or like a six month consultation package. Um, faxing. Yeah, I mean, you can set up free fax accounts with a lot of companies these days. I have a free fax account through Doxy or Doximity. Doximity, I think. I have a free fax account through my traveling mailbox. So it's not hard to get those. Um, but for it to be HIPAA compliant, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't use fax. Labs, connect to labs. Rupa Health, perfect. I use Rupa Health. This is great. <laughs> uh, and marketing. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. But it looks cool. This guy shrank. Reports. Yeah, I don't use a lot of reports, but maybe if I had more patients, I would. Bank transfers, maybe how much money's coming in and out. So that's it. This is uh, this is pretty good. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. But obviously what I don't see is prescription. Um, so let's see. Can we go to the help section, help center, um, and see... E-prescription favorites. Yeah, looks like you can do it. Healthy offers ERX. Integration with DoSpot is an add-on to your health, healthy plan. So it's an add-on which enables clinical providers to prescribe. Most of us have probably set up on DoSpot if you do any kind of moonlighting. Here's an overview of ERX and healthy articles and tells you how to get set up. I mean, I'm, I'm on uh, DoSpot by like 10,000 different uh, moonlighting gigs. Anyway, that's it. I'll leave it at that. I actually thought their, uh, their 
help thing. Looks pretty good. Looks uh, the only thing I'm wary of if there's a forum. <laughs> Whenever there's a forum, you're like, ah, these guys ain't gonna get back to me. Let's see. Help dot healthy dot com enterprise guides getting started membership plans client onboarding apis market so they even offer an api which is great scheduling ehr billing labs marketplace communication tools organizations team collaboration all right guys i hope this is helpful let me know what you think leave in the comments below what's your favorite electronic health record what are you looking for and would you use something like this